And Sam, since I have you here, uh, really quickly, uh, where do you stand on the AI alignment debate? I, I think there's, let me try to talk about it in three different ways. Sure. Um, number one, we need to make a lot more technical progress. Uh, we, we've laid out our part of our roadmap for how we think we're going to solve it. But one unarguable thing is we, we need new techniques beyond our LHF. I think OpenAI has been characterized. I don't caricaturized. I don't understand how for saying that, oh, alignment is solved because we have our LHF. Absolutely not. Like, I want to be super, super clear. So there's a ton of work to do there. I think the shape of it all is going to look fairly different than what people think in a vacuum. Um, I, I think like with all really hard, complex problems at the intersection of technology and society, like it's it's kind of hard to sit in an ivory tower and think think it through all the way. We've had really smart people doing that for a long time. Um, say so they've made limited progress and a lot of the progress or assumed progress they thought they've made has turned out to be wrong because the technology went in a little bit different direction. So we need to do more work. And I think the way we need to do that is contact with these systems as we develop them in contact with reality. Uh, number two, I think once there is a technical, once we have the technical ability to align a super intelligence, um, we then need a complex set of international regulatory agreements, cooperation between the leading efforts. Uh, but we've got to make sure that we actually like have people implement this solution and don't have sort of, for lack of a better word, word rogue efforts that say, okay, well, I can make a more powerful thing um, and I'm going to do it without paying the alignment tax or whatever that is. Uh, and so there, there'll need to be a very complex set of negotiations and agreements that happen. And we're trying to start laying the groundwork for that now. Um, and then third is, I think we talk a lot, and this is, I'm glad we do about the, the alignment problem, but what we talk less about is what about humans misusing this or even much weaker things than AGI to cause like great wreck great havoc or do great damage to society. Um, system is like aligned with its operator, but doing something we don't want. So how are those rules of what the limits are going to get written and how are we going to enforce them on limiting intentional misuse. If you enjoyed all of that, then you'll absolutely love the Bankless newsletter. Join over 300,000 fellow readers all for free. Click below to sign up.